It's been production. Tell me what you want. Tell me what you need. I take interest in for your dream. That's right. Tell me what you want. Tell me where you want. I will take all your bills and I see follow, 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 follow. That's how we do it. If you tell me no. Hi, handsome. You're not asleep. <laughs> How can I be sleeping when you have not satisfied the woman in me? How can I sleep? Meet me at the throne. My instinct never lied to me. Now it has been confirmed that he has been screwing the coin. But I still need to catch them to prove my point beyond reasonable doubt. Yes.
Agnes. Agnes. This is madness, it can never be loved. And if only a metal of Bolo, if a mad metal of Bolo, yeah. I know a man, if a man, Sanio, on your melee, Fernanda, yeah. Oh, go, go, go. Where are you coming from? From the dining. Why? Why? Do you have a problem with that? No, I don't, but what were you doing there? Trust me, you wouldn't want to know. I do. Well, I went there to watch pornography. What? Yes. Since you refused touching me, I went to the dining room to watch pornography. I actually left this room because I don't want to disturb your sleep. Any other question? Good night.
dnes? A dnes? A dnes? What, what made you? I... I went in search of you. Yes, I went to the kitchen to drink some cold water. Oh, oh, I... Yes, you know, you were sleeping, so I didn't want to disturb you. That's why I, I just had to come alone. But I, 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 I thought I checked the kitchen. Oh, maybe you, you must have passed me somehow, because yes. I'm just coming from the kitchen. I was, I was really worried. No, it's, it's fine. It's not a problem. But I thought you were in the bathroom, so I went in to check. I didn't find you, so I went to the kitchen. But I, you must have passed me somehow. Yes, I, I did. It's, 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 it's okay. It's okay. It's fine. Just let's catch some sleep. No, I. Yeah. No, it's okay. It's okay. Let's just catch some sleep. I'm a man of good. I'm a man. Upon you live in a city, I live in a city. I'm a city. If a man this is a taboo. I want you to stop whatever you're having with my man. I beg your pardon. Oh, please do not play dumb with me. Of course, you know what I'm talking about. Do you realize you're talking to the queen of a Swiss kingdom? Oh, yes, I do. That is why I'm asking you to do yourself a favor to retain your position by staying away from my man. What? Well, unless you want to be the loser here. What are you talking about? Give me this your word so we can be on the same page. The war is the same. Have ears. That is why I've chosen to be economical with my words. Do not push me, Agnes. You still have not made any point. Very well then. I will tell you. You were in the throne room with the prince last night, having fun, having a moment of banging and enjoyment until you heard the prince's footstep. That is when you ran back to your chambers, true or false. <laughs> Do not try to deny it because I have recording to prove what I just said. So you see, queen, the best bait is for you to stay away from my man, then I will pretend as if nothing happened. Have I made myself clear? I mean, are we communicating? Queen, my foot. Get out! Hey. There's a problem. She knows about everything that happened last night. She doesn't have a proof. She recorded everything. What? No, we do. Do something. Just think of something. I'm scared. I'm so scared. They are wiser than men. They will unveil every secret. No, 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 I, please, keep it, I can't watch any further. I can't watch any further. My goodness! My princess, you would have seen it today. No, 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 I, I, I'm done seeing. What? This is absurd! Oh my god! My princess, if the prince doesn't stop this dirty act, I'll be forced to tell the king. Oh my god, no, no, this is not happening. Where is Agnes? I Where is she? Know. I don't know. My princess, where are you going to? No, I feel like tearing that bitch apart. I'm going to tear her apart with my bare hands. You have never seen a loose girl like Agnes. Very loose. So irritating. Upon you live in a city, What is it? Why are you always, why are you always harsh? Okay. What is it? Why did you call me? Okay. I, just, I just want to talk to you. There's something important that I just want us to talk about. Eh? If you want to say anything, you snap about that. 
because I was busy inside. Be fast. What I want to say is not even that uh, much. And you, you see, eh, I'm falling in love with you. Like I'm, I think about you every day. In the morning when I wake up, I'm even before I sleep every day. <laughs> yeah, I'm falling in love with you. <laughs> How would you? You have so far. Yeah? You are in love with you. Me, I see. Eh? This is not a laughing matter or anything. Yeah. I think about you every day. I wake up in the morning. I'm thinking about you yeah. before I sleep. I'm. You know, I'm very serious about this. Is not like. Well done. You see, Kay. But let me tell you one thing. I am not interested in your stupid loves. Take it elsewhere. Lego <laughs> demon, would you in love with me? Sadly. Would you never go my just take a good look now? What I'm seeing is Sophie Mano Mano. Oh you, that's what I'm seeing. What culture? Alaska. Would you do you love it? I'm not really surprised with this, with this your rejection. I'm not surprised. You understand? Because I've been hearing things around the palace. They, they, they said you're not interested in men and that uh, you are involved in all this. You know what I'm saying now? These lesbian things that you don't like men. So I'm not even, because I came to you, something like you. Well, look out, that shows you. It's also a Upon you live in a city, I'll remain. I'm sunny, hey, hey, I'm sunny, hey, if a man would. This is a taboo, a man, a man, a science. This is madness, it can never be loved. Man, if only a metal, a boy, a boy. If a mad metal time but you posted it i know you're fully aware of what is going on between agnes and i oh yes i'm aware i'm aware of the adultery you both are committing against the innocent king what i feel for agnes is genuine yes i love her so much and i want to make her my wife in the nearby future when my father is gone this is madness so you wish your father dead so you can take his wife? So you want to kill your father and marry his wife? None of you are Listen, I brought you here to prove what? Yes, 
I want us to end the relationship. As you can see, we are not compatible. You are senseless, Emmanuel. You lack sense. Are you mad? You are very stupid. No doubt she has given you something. That is why you lack sense. A few minutes ago, I told you that what I do for her is to do. And nothing on earth will stop me from making her my wife. Oh, I said that will never happen. Oh, yes, it will never happen. Not when I'm alive. You're mad. You're so useless. You disgust me. I will go any length to keep Agnes to myself. And that includes eradicating anyone that stands in my way. I had a dream about your two brothers last night. A dream? What, what was this dream of yours about? I saw royalty slip off from your lineage. What? I saw the date of your father, yet. Are you, are you serious? I mean, this is, <laughs> this is very serious, so. Even when they presented themselves as a blue blood, the gods rejected them. And in your dream, did the gods give any reason for rejecting them? No, my princess. But it was so real that I cried from my dream. Till I woke up, I was still crying. This is really serious. I have to tell my brothers immediately because we cannot take this for granted. The gods are trying to say something. Yes. Not only talking to them, but they really need to go and see the great sea of our land for urgent interpretation of my dream. Yes. Because it was so real. My Prince Jewel, why didn't you come with your brother? I am very sorry about that. My brother had one or two things to take care of and he will join us later. You are sure you wouldn't keep us waiting? No, not at all. He should be here in a minute. Oh, here he comes, sir. Uh... Good afternoon, Olo. Good afternoon. But you kept us waiting. Um, why? I'm very sorry. So, it's okay. Well, uh, the reason I have someone this meeting is very simple. I said, I have a card in the world. It's all about your coronation as the crown princess of Ozutem Kingdom. Okay, so when is it coming up? Oh. To, I mean, towards the month end. In fact, precisely month end. That will be this month end. Two weeks from now. Exactly. And what right are the requirements? Oh, okay. as the days approaches, I will always give you details and processes. What is where? I just called you to let you know what is the call so that people should start getting yourselves ready for it. It's a very big. An epoch making event. It is a, an epoch making event. But this one, we are expecting it to be so grand. That will be a problem, no. We'll do our best. Or not you. Or not you. Or not you. Princess of Ozutem Kingdom. I like your cooperation. One more thing, my princess. Uh, we want this one in grand style. Mm. Put in your best to make it grand. <laughs> in everything. Mm. Because we have already put in place every arrangement to invite our neighboring uh, kingdoms to attend the function. Please, do not disappoint us. No, no, no.
Greetings, my husband. Greetings, my dearest. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. <laughs> Sit. Sit. I have observed you closely. Uh, what actually is the problem? You've not been yourself since today. Oh, my husband, I am fine. You are not fine. You are not. Just tell me what troubles you and I'll proffer solutions to it now. Come on, my husband. Nothing is troubling me. I am perfectly okay. I am okay. I'm I'm just having a slight fever. Then you need medical attention. Go to hospital. Um, yes, I, I have that in mind. But I intend to go tomorrow. Why wait till tomorrow? Do it now, dear rest. You know, I have a meeting with the leader of the market women. And I don't know how long that will last for. Don't worry. I'm, I'll be fine. You know, your health is very important. I know. Remember you, my chassis. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Make yourself comfortable. Okay? Okay, my husband. I'm fine. I'm happy. What? I get... What is this? How long has this been happening? Only your brother can answer that question. When did you make this video? Just last night. Is he aware that you know about this ungodly relationship between the both of them? Of course he's aware. And what did he say? Can you believe your brother opted to pay me off? He vowed never to let go of madness. This is madness. This is madness. What is going on here? Where is he? I don't know. Maybe he's within the palace. Look, I'm coming. What were you thinking? Have you lost your mind? I'm still your elder brother. I will advise you, censor your words. If you were in tune, I would censor my words. You have lost it, and someone needs to call you back to order. On the contrary, I know what I'm doing. You do not. I me. do. No, you don't. Because if you know what you are doing, you won't be sleeping with your father's wife, your stepmother. That lady is just referred to as my stepmother. She's the one I found true love with. Not that rascal that doesn't have respect for our tradition. Emmanuel, you have lost it. This is not you at all. A stronger force has taken over you and you need to be liberated urgently before this destroys you. Joel, nothing is wrong with me. It is you all that have failed to understand what I feel for Agnes. You all fail to understand that I love her so much. And not that rascal that doesn't have respect for our tradition. How do you think our father will feel when he hears that you're sleeping with his wife? How? And who cares how he feels? I'm even contemplating of telling him, now that he's still early, so that he will start forgetting about her. Before it's too late. Do you know, right? This is not you. This is me, Joel. Majesty, I am very much happy and excited to tell you that I spoke to your two sons and they showed readiness to be crowned princes. <laughs> That's a good news. Uh, you have my permission. Just go ahead with the process. And I will do that exactly. I will do it without delay. Not yet, Your Majesty. How dare you? How dare you barge into my discussion? 
a discussion of this magnitude, I bear you. Yeah. I'm sorry, Your Majesty, but a prince's adulterous life made me do this. What did you just say? Huh? How do you mean? Your Majesty, Prince Emmanuel here knows exactly what I'm talking about. This is not the right time to do this. Please, leave here right now. We will have this discussion. No. This is the right time. And I want to have this discussion now. Emmanuel, what is happening? You can talk. No, have you lost your tongue? Don't worry, I will help you out. Your Majesty, Prince Emmanuel, your son, has been sleeping with your wife, Agnes. Will you shut the trap? Huh? It cannot be true. It's true, Your Majesty. That can be true. To, 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 Height of sacrilege. Father, it's true. Will you shut up? Shut this thing that you call mount! Yeah. Will you shut it? Shut it, shut it, shut it. Do you know the magnitude of the crime you've just committed? One of us with the kingdom. I regret the day I beget you. No, no, no. Don't speak in my place. I this day cause anything you lay your hands on. You will toil and toil and toil and toil forever and ever from this generation, even to the third generation in pains and agony. Stop, your majesty. Please. He is your son. And you shall remain cursed forever and ever. It will never be well with you. You will forever toil in vain. Even the ground you march on shall be cursed. You cease to be my son. You cease to be my son. And I never want to set my eyes on you again. Never! I don't wish to behold your presence again. I do not wish out of my presence. Cost shall you remain forever. Cost shall you. Oh no, I want to know the repercussion of everything my father said back there in the palace. Oh. Oh. I don't believe that. It means that you are a cost man. A cost man. And that will affect your third generation. Finally, that you can never be king. How? I'm the first son. Because a cursed man can never sit on the throne of Ozidem as the king. Uh, oh no. Mm -hmm. Is there any remedy to resolve all this? 
My prince, I am afraid. The king went to the extreme. There is no remedy. Hey. Father, why don't you lay a curse on your son? Your first son, your heir apparent. He first cast himself by sleeping with my dear wife. But father, you should have found another way around it. Instead of laying curses on him. If I had had something worse to do than the curse, I would have done that. Father. You do not know the pain your brother cost me. By sleeping with my wife, you do not know my princess. Is she the only woman in the entire Ozitam kingdom? Is she? Father, Emmanuel made a mistake. I mean, we all know that. But cursing him. Come on, Father. I do not have the luxury of patience to correct a man that disrespected me to that magnitude. I don't have such luxury of patience at all. Father, I understand that you're very angry. I mean, you have every reason to be angry. We wouldn't. But Father, this is... This is your son we're talking about. Father, shield your sword. Please. Please. When you beat a child with one hand, you drag the child closer to you with the second hand. Father, on this note, I beg of you, Shield your sword. My daughter, I have said the word with the staff of authority of Ozidam Kingdom. And it is sealed forever. It is sealed. Father, now what happens when you join your ancestors? He ascends the throne as a cursed king, ruling over a people that are not cursed. How is that going to play out? A cursed man cannot ascend the throne of Ozita. If he dares, he will die. He will die. You have to come down. I'm trying. You have to. I want to assure you that we'll go through this together. Okay. So, tell me. What did your noble say? He said I can be the king again. Why? Our tradition forbids a cost man to sit on the throne. Is there no way it can be averted? He said the cost is irreversible. Wow. Didibia might have something to say. What do you think? I think you're right. Let's go and see him.
Honestly, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just confused. Oh, God. What's <laughs> again, my prince, you're welcome. Uh, prince Jua. The mantle of kinship has swung towards your side. And I'm hope you are and I hope you're ready. Oh no. Please. Is there no way I can help my brother? I I know how much this will be very painful to him to watch me ascend the throne while he's still alive. I understand what you mean and how you feel. But I want to let you know that whatever Prince Emmanuel, your brother, is passing through now was brought upon himself. By himself. So the earlier you start getting this into your head, the better. What if the king has only one son? And the other son has only one son. That would have been so disastrous. But you are there. I, I know. But I still remember you told me that there is always a way in every ugly situation. You're right, my prince. But that is only when men mortals like us are involved. Not where the gods are involved. Who can challenge the gods? Eh? We're talking about tradition here. You know, go. Look, even before both of you were born, it has been destined that a day like this will come. So it's not just uh, by accident. I advise you just go home and begin to reason on how to dress up with the challenges now. You know go? Oh no. Father, I'm sorry for what has happened. I did what I did out of the deep love and feelings I have for Agnes. Please forgive me. Your Majesty, you are a good man. 
But the fact remains that you cannot quench the fire that burns in my womanhood. Old age has caught up with you. Instead of doing it with an outsider, I chose to do it with your blood. Um, please, I have two things to ask of you. And if you do it for me, I will leave and never come back. Firstly, I want you to forgive your son and reverse the cost you placed on him. Secondly, I want you to come and take back the bright price you paid on my head. So I can happily move on with your son as my husband. Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you, Father. I want to travel far away with her. We want to start a new life again. Thank you, Father. Now I know why they said wonders shall never end. My dear, I can't believe that the prince would do such a thing. A disgusting act. Hi! He has done it already now. You know, the question I keep asking myself is, why his stepmother? There are so many girls in this village that he can flirt around with. Why the queen now? My worry is that he's living with the fiancé under the same roof. And yet he chooses to do the queen. <laughs> the thing is, are you sure Unzube can satisfy a man? <gasps> Will you, will you ever be serious? I just said the truth. <laughs> Pamina, how are you today? I'm fine, Your Majesty. Your Majesty? Pamela, any time you sound this way, I know there must be a favor that you want your king to do you. What is that favor, Pamela? Sit down. What favor do you want me to accomplish? Father. There's something I've been meaning to tell you. <clears throat> Honestly, I do not know how you're going to feel about it. Say it. I cannot carry on without putting in the true picture of things. What is it? I'm, I'm pregnant. For who? A kinder. A kinder. Yes, father. I, I thought that before the pregnancy becomes visible, I would have been married. But, unfortunately and sadly, things didn't turn out as expected. Uh, is it okay? What you are carrying in your stomach? That pregnancy is a product of the time for a Kenna. And you are going to carry the child in full time. Hmm? And then I will treat him like my own. I am happy. Thank you. Thank you so much, Father. But have something at the back of your mind. Once the pregnancy becomes 
obvious, very visible. I will fly you abroad. I guess you know why. I do, Father. I understand. <sighs> Thank you. I appreciate mm. lights. Thank you, Father. It's been a very long time I've had of a girl doing such a thing. But Ichi Oba here said that Agnes is a very good girl. The girl is a good girl. Agnes has been always a good girl, but I don't know why they decided to put everyone to shame. Well, um, what they did is evil. Sacrilege. But I like the approach of the king on that issue. Oh no. I support you 100% verbatim. Good. So this will serve as a deterrent to others who will like to ply that route she took. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, we don't pray that such things will repeat in this kingdom. Because it brings more calamity than what we can ever think. Say, well, um, the reason I summoned all of us here is that is to inform all of us that the king has ordered that we should go straight and retrieve the bright prize he paid on the head of Agnes. Oh no, if I may ask, why is the king so much in hurry to retrieve the bright prize? If I were the king, I would do the same. Huh? They did not just insult only the king, but the throne of Ozuit and kingdom. Mm. Well, um, I was surprised when you asked that question, why should the king be in a hurry? Do you know the extent of damage this has caused our sacred kingdom? Do you know what it means? Do you even know the gravity of this offense? Wait, 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 wait. Is it a good story to tell? Eh? Well, what is important now is carrying out the order of the king. When are we going to retrieve the, the bride price? If possible, let us go today. I supported us go, you know. But why so soon? Stop asking this kind of silly question. Okay. It's not expected of an cheer like you. Listen to me. This woman has committed sacrilege, what we call kingdom sacrilege. That is the, the one of the okay. highest order. And this is called Alo Kongwa. Alo Kongwa. Hmm? Oh no. Your Majesty. The board is in your cards. Do the need. Today, we shall honor Prince Joel as the crown prince of the Kingdom, having fulfilled all traditional requirements for the crowning of princes. I, who knew of this great kingdom, hereby we proceed in the process of crowning. What is it that he has done that we do not know? Talk. What? Wrong grieve your highness. Wrong grieve the respected elders of Ozitem Kingdom. Our tradition forbid a man that has blood on his hands to ascend the throne of Ozitem Kingdom. Lord. 
blood. What blood? Yes. <coughs> speak, Prince Joel, or the gods will speak for you. Joel? So what's the order, my prince? I want you to break his leg if need be. If he shows any form of stubbornness. My prince, you know I like it when you sound like this. As long as you're willing to play us around, don't worry. We shall carry your order, my prince. You dig him, right? I mean every word I say. Trust me, my prince. That's my goal. Why are you blocking my, 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 my way now? Eh? What is it? I'll change up for you. Move. Please, you. Where are you coming from? I want to see the princess. I would only say this once and for all. I will not repeat myself again. I want you to stop seeing my sister. I know your plans, and I know all you want is my family's world. Stop seeing my sister. My prince, with due respect, with due respect to, eh? I am not interested in anything that is worth you're talking about. I and the princess have come to love ourselves very well. I love her and she loves me. You a man like me now, understand this thing now. When somebody loves a woman, you understand what Shut I think? Up. I want you to take your stinking, poverty-smelling body out far away from my family. I will be so kind to give you the sum of one million naira. Take it and leave my sister alone. No, I don't want your money. I don't want your money. All I want is the heart of the woman whom I have come to love. I love the princess, your sister. Is it a crime to fall in love with somebody? Is it a crime? I love her from my heart, and it's all about money. Again, uh, I would give you an extra 500,000. I won't be any more kinder than that. I don't want your money. I don't want your money. I don't want anything. All I want is the love of my life. Princess, I love her, and it's not about money. Money can buy love. 
Money can buy happiness. Money can buy sleep. Money can buy Money can buy heart. She's so pure. My heart is pure. I love her. I understand this thing, my prince. I love her. It's just... okay. You can go. It's okay. You claim to love my sister. You can go. Thank you. I knew this whole thing was a test. You know I love her. <laughs> Thank you, my prince. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry for touching you. Thank you. Thank you. I have to. My prince, why? 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 There's always a way to handle every situation. Trust me. Let's go. So, what's your final decision? I want him dead. My prince, when do you want this to happen? <laughs> On the day of my sister's introduction. I don't want him to get to the palace. Is there any day fixed yet? Not yet. Okay, my prince, once the date is fixed, all you have to do is just to give us all the details needed. Then leave the rest for us. I know. And that is why I contracted the both of you. I know what you can do. Trust me. It's okay, my prince. I'll give you the best. I'll see you both later. Mr. Prince, you don't have any problem. Come in, come in, come in, my dear. Hey, sorry, oh. sorry okay. for giving you waiting. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. Hey. It's okay. Hey. I know how today is towards you and um, all the hurry and rush that you have to go through. Ah, no, my prince. No, I, I went to Mass Nochiri's house uh, to uh, bring the palm wine. Yeah, but uh, he, he has not come, so I had to wait for him so I would give him money. Uh, then my brother should now take the palm wine uh, to the venue. And I said, let me come here and then. Uh, <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Yes. Uh, firstly, I want to say congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations for marrying my sister. Mm -hmm. And secondly, I really want to say sorry. I really want to apologize. I know I've not been the best of me. I'm really sorry for everything I've done. Um, the bad things I did, the harsh words I said, I'm very sorry. <laughs> My prince, thank you. You see, if I were in your shoes, I would, I would also do the same thing. You know, I, because I know that you had to do whatever thing you seem good so that you can protect your sister. And I know you're doing it for our own good. Yeah. But I want to assure you here, I want to assure you here that I will make sure I take care of your sister very well. I will stand by her and make sure that she's happy. I love her so much from my heart. I'm happy to hear that. <laughs> thank you. Um, you know, we are in those right now. So yes. I pray that your marriage with my sister will be blessed with everything you want. You see, you see. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank <my> you. <laughs> uh, I have to let me let me rush and start going. Okay. Uh, because okay. I know they'll be waiting for I me. I know. Uh, okay, yes. it's all right. Then uh, maybe we'll meet there. We'll continue the discussion. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, marry my sister. Come on, marry. Oh. oh. Oh, 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 I would let you marry my sister. 
You idiot! You want to reap where you did not sow. You want to reap where you did not sow, right? You want to reap where you did not sow. Come and reap where you did not sow. Come and reap where you did not sow, let me see. Come and reap where you did not sow. Animal! I told you, I told you, do not try me. So you mean you killed Ekena and you pretended as if you knew nothing about it? Joel! I'm sorry, Father. Everything I did was to protect the dignity of this family. And for your own good. I'm sorry. <sighs> promised me that you would let peace lead and you went behind my back to do your mindset. Hmm. Do you know what that means? Do you know that means that you're not qualified to be the king of Ozitam kingdom? Yes. Do you? to know that a man with the blood on his hand can never rule this kingdom, not in my time. My good friend, where the death be out? I want to tell him what I've become, but where the dumb and deaf be out? You know, maybe because I'm always 
you know, having your mask of mine. Bottle of. Drink. See, my brother, let me tell you something that you don't know. I know what I'm doing. See, me, I know what I'm doing. But the problem is that what what is doing to me is what I don't, you know, know. But anyway, I don't care. I will continue to enjoy myself and drink my bottle. Drinking my bottle of wine, keeping myself happy. They should, you know, be anything that has to come upon them this year. Madam, anything that happen is not my business. I have tried to do my own part that my boss will tell me to do them. As that they don't want to hear. Okay. I don't know whether if this my bottle will even last up. You know, I have tried to deliver and tell them what my bottle tell me to do them, but they don't want to hear. So, whatever this have to come upon them, they should hear it. Don't even know if this is my bottle even last up today. I don't know where to get. That one, you know, if that woman that is supposed to be ready today, and might as well. Father, Father, is there nothing you can do? Is there nothing you can do to remedy the situation? There is absolutely nothing I can do to remedy the situation. Our forefathers left this tradition with us. And we must hold it with utmost precision. Father. Father, I am not asking you to compromise. I'm just asking you to find a way to remedy the situation. My princess, there is no way to remedy this situation. I repeat it. The tradition is like what the Bible referred to as ancient landmark. And that cannot be removed. I don't think I want to discuss this matter any longer. Let's talk something else. You said the young man asked for your hand in marriage. Yes, Father. And what did you say to him? I said yes. Did you tell him you are with a child? I did, but he still insists on marrying me. That young man is very, very courageous. Let me tell you, my daughter. If that man succeeds in marrying you, automatically he becomes the next king of us, you tell king, if you are set to marry you. Father, how is that even possible? That is our tradition, provided he is from this kingdom, Ozuita. Yes, he is from this kingdom, Father. What part? Obuku. <sighs> that man is a lucky man. My daughter automatically, if he marries you, become the queen of Ozitem kingdom. Congratulations in advance, my daughter. Thank you. I'm happy. Um, um, Echi, hmm? I, I am so sorry for calling you out. Um, just that I am worried. The last time we, we met, you told me that you heard that I'm a lesbian. I just want to know where this information is coming from. Biko. Are you confirming that you're a lesbian? Ah, Mbakwao, no. I just want to know where the information is coming from. Eh, Pico? Well, I can give you the information. Uh, but you know, if you allow me... 
I let me uh, have a carnal knowledge of you and all the information you need. And I can even tell you. Complete the statement. Tell me what now, eh? I want to know. No. If you want me to give you all this information, follow me to my chambers first. You understand? Let's get to my chamber. Then after, I will tell you everything you want to know. AJ, going to your chamber is not just the problem. Oburo the problem. Just give me the information and I'm all yours. Pico, please tell me. Pico. You said I should give you the information that... Yes. He's not around. He's not around. Yes, sir. Oh, he heard my voice and hide under the bed. Ah, okay, no. No. My husband went to work. You know what? When he comes back, tell him I was here. Okay, sir. Make sure you tell him because it's very important. I will, sir. Nothing seems to be working. Balance. The, I'm see, you see, the, the queen, you're more beautiful than the queen. The, the, I've been, I've been, you know, I'm a very, a very thoughtful. I've been walking around. All the medians, no median is as beautiful. Look at your nose now. Eh? Ah, really? Yes. No one have ever told me of this. So. Are you serious? Yes. Oh, wait, Eche, is there something you are not telling me? Everybody in this palace knows that Eche is a very truthful person. Eh? Why would I want to deceive you? Eh, Ndidi? Ndidi, Ndidi. Eh? Let's go to my chambers. Now I see where your point is coming from. I don't, I don't understand. What, what, what point? Wait, Eche. Must you sleep with every girl in this palace? I'm talking about chambers. You're talking about sleeping with them. Chambers and sleeping together has no business. There's no relationship there. Mm -hmm. And did you forget about the other. The, let's, let's go to my chambers. Eh? Uh, you know what? Tell them you didn't see me. Ndidi. Ndidi. Ndidi! I'm so worried about them. I have a strong feeling that they're suffering. 
Mother, I practically see them in my dream every night, crying and begging for help. I don't know what to do. I am happy that you are feeling the same way. I've been begging your father to forgive them. Mother, they are his sons. His blood. What do you suggest we do about this? Keep begging him. I've told him that these are his children. He can't abandon them just because of their youthful mistake. I can see you are hungry. Very, very hungry. Is there food in the house? Yes. You cooked something? No. It's the oat soup at home. Ah. Okay, we've eaten that soup more than five days. That soup has lost everything that made it soup. Mommy, I know, but there's nothing we can do. We have to manage till money comes for us to make another one. Please, my husband. Honey, that soup is sour. No, the soup is still okay. You just manage it, okay? You know what? Just go and shower. Let me go in and prepare food for you. Nothing seems to be working. I every day the same story. No happiness at all. Why? But I am sorry. Sorry for my sins. Honey, don't worry, you will like it, sir. Just manage it. Just manage it. Just manage it. Hmm? I know the food is not as tasty as the one you used to have back at the palace. But you know, we need to approach life based on how we see it. Please don't remind me about the palace again. Please, I don't want to hear about the palace again. Okay, I won't. Please, can you eat your food? Hmm? Did Joa call you again? No. But the landlord was here earlier today. The landlord really need to be patient. He has to be patient. Yes, I know I'm going him, but he has to calm down. He said he wants to see you. No need of seeing him. I already know what he wants to discuss with me. Even as that, still go and see him. I will see him when I have his money. Honey, I don't like this. Why not go and see him and explain things to him yourself? At least find out why he sent for you. You know how that man is. If he comes here, he won't live without creating a sin. I think you have a point there. I will see him tomorrow. That's my baby. Thank you. Now eat your food. I don't want to eat. Thank you. Thank you. 
Honey, this is the end of the month. They will definitely pay our salary today. I pray. I pray they pay you. Ah, honey, we don't need to pray over it. It's a normal routine. And once they pay me, I will send some to your account so you cook nice food. Alright? Okay, my husband. It's okay. I have to start going. I'm already running late. This, the same. Take good care of yourself, okay? I will. Right? I love you.
Father, please have mercy. You don't want to die without Ed. Please. Please. Are we not? This is the fifth miscarriage that I am having. This is the fifth miscarriage. And I'm, I'm tired. I am I'm tired. I don't know what to do anymore. I'm tired. You have to stop crying. And you have to look for a solution to this. You know? As this goes by, this cause, the effect will multiply, you know? And this one you're facing now is just like a child's play. Mm? And <laughs> compared to the ones you're gonna face in the nearby future, you know? But wait, too. why will a man be that mean to the extent of laying a cause on, on his own children? I, I understand the fact that he was heartbroken. But we went on our knees and begged him. And we begged him. But he wouldn't listen. At first, I thought it was just to take away the throne from my husband. Of which my husband was not even interested. The moment we started dating, he lost his interest of being a king. Little did I know that the whole thing will metamorphose to this. Like I said before, you have to find a solution to this. You know, if you don't, then it will come knocking on your door. And by then, there is nothing either you or your husband will do about it. Let it come now. Let it come. Let all of us die so that the king can be happy. Because this one we are living like this. It's not life now. It's not life. Then it will not come. You will leave. But the question is, are you ready? Are you ready and I'm to ready. I am ready. Okay, if your husband comes back, you ask him the same question. He is ready. Don't say for him. If he comes back, you ask him. If he's ready, there is a place that will take the two of you. Either she brings you out of your ugly situation or she tells you what to do. I will talk to him about it when he comes back. That's my girl. I'll do it. I'm really sorry that I didn't offer you anything. You have no half food in this house. Aww. No thing. Come off it. Who needs your thing? I beg. Come off it, Jerry. Please wipe your tears. Off now. Okay. In as much as we need solution to our problem, that doesn't mean we should patronize the devil. Don't say that, my husband. Is this a life? A life of feeding from hand to mouth. A life of several miscarriages. How long do we continue to live like this? Of course we cannot continue like this. I'm not just comfortable with the whole idea. I know, but I am not comfortable too, but we have to come out of our comfort zones to see for a solution. Can we see for another minute? But we have tried other available means, but still remain a shadow of ourselves. All to no avail. We need to do something. We are just a shadow of ourselves. Fine. If that's what you want, then let's do it. No, it's not about what I want. You and I have to agree. We need to do something so the cost your father laid on us can be broken. Fine. When are we going? I don't know. I, I, I have to confirm from Annie. Someone who is cast. Nothing seems to be working. Oh, every day the same story. No happiness at all. Mr. Emmanuel. Mr. Emmanuel. Mr. Emmanuel. Mr. Emmanuel. I'm 
of women. There is nothing good about this morning. But you pay me my rent. Oh, landlord, please. Please exercise more patience with me. I've been working day and night to pay for this money. That was exactly what you told me last week. Mr. Emmanuel, I'm done with your stories. Life has not been easy with me. Life has not been fair with me. Please exercise more patience with me, please. Mr. Emmanuel, life has not been easy with anyone in this country. You have to live and meet up with your responsibility as a man. See, if you are not able to, if you cannot be able to afford to pay your rent, why don't you pack to the smaller apartments so they can be able to rent to the ones that are serious? Or better still, you can go to the village where the rent is so affordable. Uh, landlord, it has not gotten to that. Please, I'll pay. I'm going to pay. Just give me more time. Okay, you'll pay when? Let's, let's see how. Let's see how next week will look like. Yes, next week. Yeah, next weekend. Let's see. Maybe by then I'll be able to raise something. I should give you next week. You know what? I will give you the whole of next week. But trust me, if I come back here by next weekend and you do not pay me my rent, just get ready because I will throw it out, out of this apartment. Why is life treating me like this? What have I done wrong? What is happening? His house rent, of course. And what did you tell him? I told him to be more patient with us. So what was his response? He said it's becoming an everyday story and that he cannot be more patient with us. He's threatening to send us out from this house if we do not pay next weekend. Everything will be fine. I just hope so. I just hope so. I just hope everything will be fine. Now that sounds so unfaithful. Sometimes I ask myself if God still answer prayers. Yes, because I don't understand anymore. It's not clear to me what is happening. Have we not suffered enough? Because he does, my love. He sees everything. He listens. In fact, he's seen what is happening to us right now. And I know he will come to our aid sooner than you think. Okay. Nothing seems to be working. Okay. Okay. Every day this is I know a man of I know a man. Upon your life and this I know a man. Oh, I'm Hey, I'm sad. If a man this is a taboo. If you like, call me any kind of name you like. 
But you all know I don't give fake news, do I? Amara, what is the news this time, okay? What is it? I was reliably informed that Prince Jue is now doing conductor work in the city. Hey! hey. <laughs> you know I used to believe you before, but this time I will never believe you. I'm not begging you to believe me. I said nothing but the truth. But I was like that. Prince Jewel, look at Hey, Prince Jewel, doing conductor or eight or lashy. This one, mm -hmm. I believe, Lomi, a cha 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 come out of that one. Mm -mm. Not possible. I was even informed that after he left, he was driven away from the palace by the power of the course. And it's a shadow of himself. I'm not sure. Show. I think so. <laughs> even if you are telling the truth, I will never believe. Mba no, if you want to take, mba, ki iku, o banye lo cha 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 cha. Wa she lo zam nen ke esu lo. Please do it. We are still in this palace. You will hear it very soon. The news will just spread around. You will hear it later. Sure, we are in this palace. You will hear it. Story. Please do it. I think I said I heard it from the reliable source. Eh, buriya. Where was it? Ne. You see this one. Taba mara. E ko te lo m cha cha cha. Hey. Mm, what am I even doing here? Let me leave you before the fish. Gaba, 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 you do look. Fake news. Fake news. Sure. Story, story. Someone always goes. Nothing seems to be working. Every day, the same story. of what you're telling me? Yes, my princess. So where is that? Asaba city. Where in Asaba? The park is at Koka. Oh my God. Um, supposing I ask you to take me there, can you? Why not, my princess? All I need is just to call the person that gave me the information. Wow. Um, <coughs> Amara. Please, I would like this information to remain a secret until the royal family confirms it. Do I have your word on that? Okay, my princess. Are you sure? Yes, my princess. Thank you. Now you can go back to your duty post. All right, my okay? princess. And is this the people you told me about? Yes, we're told. This is Agnes. And this is our husband, this is Mahu. What happened? My father, the king, he placed a curse on me and my brother. Because you particularly took what rightfully belongs to him, and your brother took a life. Yes. Is that me? What exactly do you want? We want the curse to be removed. There is only one person that has the right to remove the cause. Your father, the king. We've begged him to revoke the cause, but he refused. That was 18 months ago. Go with your brother and ask him for forgiveness. But what if he refuses to reverse it? Do everything possible, even if it means for you to prostrate. Make sure you ask him for forgiveness. Okay, great one. We've heard you. Eche, I've taken my time to observe the activities with the Mendes in this palace. You have to retract your state before the king finds out. 
Why are you postulating like I've committed an abomination? Are we supposed to be in enmity with the palace medians? Eh? What is wrong with relating with the, with, with the palace med? Look, I have no issue with you relating with the palace medians or having any cordial relationship with them. But sleeping with them is an issue. Okay? First, it was with you. Second, it was Amar. I overheard you the other day, you were speaking with Miriam. You have to be careful before it becomes unbecoming. I've what? said my own. Why are you putting your tent where you're not supposed to? Mm. Eh? What is wrong with me relating with this palace media? Just mm. tell me you lack the power of thought to streamline your words mm. so that you can have a taste of taste. You're crazy. Eh? You're really crazy. Stop whatever you're doing in this palace that doesn't promote peace and unity. Hold your boss. I've said my own. I've said my own. Oh. You're advising me. Okay. Oh, this thing is an advice. You're giving me advice. Atarongi. <laughs> you want to be advised? Mwah. Come and test the palace medians first before you can have reason to advise me. You check if it's... You understand? Hey, would you? Would you? So Stop whatever you are doing in this palace that does not promote peace and unity before the king finds out. I thought this assertion would have brought you to your knees. How did you come to that line of thought? Your walls have fears. God forbid, my own son cannot be found with the commoners as a conductor. Mother, from the way Amara sounded, <laughs> it appears it's true. Eva! You have to take me to that motorbike. Um, mother, I understand, okay, but... But I just think you need to calm down at this point, okay? This is not what we approach violently, if you ask me. At this point in time, I would apply anything at my disposal to bring Joel out of that dungeon. Joel is the son of a lion. And at no point should a son of a lion be found eating grass. You're correct, mother. I understand. But first, I think I should go first. Okay, let me go to the motor park myself alone and see things and be sure. Then after, we can take a decision. So when do you want to go? Today or tomorrow? Um, no, mother. Tomorrow will be more appropriate. Okay. I'm the last person to beg him for forgiveness. Honey, what's all this? Were you not the person who just made a promise back at the temple that you were going there with your brother to ask for his forgiveness? I said what I said in the temple to make everyone happy. Does this look like a joke to you? Our life and future is at stake here. Since he has the mind, he has the mind to cost me his first son. Let me sit back and see what he will achieve with it. I know you have so much bitterness in your heart for your father. But you have to put all that aside to achieve his forgiveness. That is the most important thing right now. I have always said yes to you. But for once, I disagree. I disagree with you. I will never beg him for forgiveness. I will not. Honey? Who 
I go back to that village where everybody sees me as a cursed person. They rejected me. How can I go back to them? Tell me. You were not rejected. You were never rejected. Joel, you are the son of a lion. Do you know who your father is? You don't belong here. You can't be amidst commoners. See these people you call commoners? They gave me a home when royalty rejected me. They gave me a title. I rule among those commoners. I will not go back to that family. I will not go back. I am okay with where I am. Listen to me. Listen to me. What is a cockroach doing in the garden of lizards? Your father is a king. You are a prince. You do not belong to a motor park. Please come with me. Let's go somewhere and have this conversation. Please, I beg of you. Please, please. please.
someone who is cast. Nothing seems to be working. Oh, every day the same story. No happiness at all. No. But I am sorry. Sorry for my sins. I'm looking for one Mr. Trump. Yes, you don't stay here. Okay, that my guy. No way to Just go down, down, down there. Go see one computer video there. And then you down, down. Yeah, just go down. Sir. Don't call to. Just go down, sir. And then you do. How did you find me here? Zico told me that you're here. Why are you not at the park? Bro, a lot of things on my mind. I, I'm almost running mad. I, I just came here so I could just chill out. And I believe why you didn't go to work? No. Have you been sacked? It is even better they sack me than to continue with that job. That's by the way. Joel. I've been looking for solution to our problem, and it seems I've found one. Really? Yes. Tell me about it. I visited a temple out in the southern part of this city, and the man told me that we should go and meet Father for forgiveness. Never! No, 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 no. I will not do that. I will not beg that man for any reason. How can our father be heartless? Beg a man who drove his own children out of the house. I would not do oh, that. Joel, calm down. I won't be part of that, bro. Honestly, you, you just have to calm down. Calm down for what? Calm down for what? I would not beg that man for any reason. Come whatsoever may. I would not. His refusal to listen to us is where this man at the temple comes in. How do you mean? He said we should go and fulfill... In all righteousness. We should beg Father, but if he refuse, we should come back to him. We just have to go. So it is true. Mother, Drell is in a precarious situation. You needed to have seen that place. It is worse than a dungeon. Mother, we have to do something fast. As a matter of fact, we need to take urgent step to get him out of that motorbike. So how did the discussion with him go? It... What? What? Gold, I will not get it back. I will not! 
Father, please forgive us. Yes, we are, we are sorry. If you like prostrate on the floor, I will not forgive you. Are you God? Are you God? Why are you bent on destroying these children? What have they done that you cannot forgive them? What? Stay out of this. Stay out of this is none of your business. It is my business. As far as my sons are involved. Father. Father, please. Please. Temple justice with mercy. They are your children. Your blood. Just have mercy on them. Forgive them. Take a look at them. They're gradually dying because of the effect of the curse. Death is yet to visit them. Not when I stay. Shut it! No. no distant time, they are going to be shadows of themselves. No! They will! Not when I'm They desecrated my palace! Father. They desecrated my palace! Father. And they want me to die standing up! They Father. must be shadows of themselves! Wait, wait, just wait. I prefer you leave my business now. He refused to forgive us. Then it's no longer your fault. Every sin is forgivable. I'll be left with no other option than to terrify him into forgiving you. But if he had in his heart to forgive you, then you both would die. Die? Yes. Die? No, we can't die. That is the kind of curse he placed on you. Wise man, please, we don't want to die. Because as you can see, we are young men. And <laughs> we don't want to die young. Yes, we don't want to die. Please, do something. Wash your hands into this bowl. Take. You take. Sets the process in motion. So, what did she say? She said that we shouldn't tell anyone. <laughs> I hope it's not a deep ritual. It's not. It's okay. Go inside, let me give you something to eat.
Um, so, how did it go? Well, mother, basically, um, he was like, you know, you guys are royalty, so um, your life is kind of fixed. You have mates, you have servants. I'm like, no. Know you know, sometimes I just, we, we have our own issues. And I don't know what you're talking about. What is wrong? What is wrong with you? Are you fine? I, I don't understand. Father, just come why, why did you run out? Why are they after me? Who? You, you only saw us and you ran out. No, no, they asked me. No, it was only me and Pa. Where is Jewel? Father, it's me and Mother. Okay. And there's, there's, no, there's that's no one else. I don't understand what no. you're talking about. No. Father, Father calm please. down. Please. Father. Oh, my husband. Let's go inside. Let's go inside. Father, to do what? Come, come, Father, come. Let's go inside. Father, just, just calm down. Where is Jewel? Father, he's fine. He's fine. Where is my place? You're fine. You're fine. Let's go. Father, Let's just go calm down, okay? You need to take a deep breath. You need to go in now. Just we need to just sit down and relax, okay? That's all you need. Let's go. Come, come, come. Okay. Let's go. 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 let us the idea. Father, who? Father, there's no, there's no one. Uh, Father, what? Nobody there. You want me to die instead? You are not going to die. Huh? Father, it was just the two of us there. Nobody else. Father, eh? Are you an accomplice? No. Father, what accomplice you to what? There's where no is Joel? Don't Father, worry. There's no one. Where's where no... where 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 my prince? Just calm down. Let's go inside. Let's Father, go inside. Is this okay. a mirage? Father, just calm down. Take yeah. a deep breath. Okay, okay, you're going to be fine. Just deep breath. Please. Out. <laughs> In? Oh, my king. Oh. Look, honestly, I don't understand what that seer did inside there. I don't understand. Honestly, I don't know the meaning of washing our hands on the board. This better not be a child's play. Let it not be that that seer is whining also. I, I, I won't throw or let someone wasting my time. <laughs> Maybe it has spiritual connotation. But, what if it doesn't work? I just pray it works because the weight of this cause is really weighing me down. Like I'm going down, look at me. Just, just take a good look at me. Look at you. Look at yourself, Joel. Eh? I'm more happy. Just have to work. I'm more just happy to work. You have fun, so you have fun. Your Majesty. Where is your no and the other elders? Your Majesty, I believe Ono and other elders will soon be here. But I strongly advise you proceed. <laughs> Forgiveness. Forgiveness is the only antidote. Forgiveness is the only weapon of peace, unity and tranquility. As the king of this noble kingdom, I forgive you, my sons. Thank you so much, Father. I forgive you. 
Thank, thank you, you, Father. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> no, thank you too. You have once again proven that you did not hate your children. You only did what you need to correct them of their own do And now they realize their mistakes, you have forgiven. Well done. Welcome back, my children. <laughs> <laughs> I think this calls for celebration. Yes. The king is finally happy. <laughs> Thank you so much, Father. Thank you. Yeah, my princess. <laughs> Great one, it worked. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Go home and sin no more. We will invite you to witness our coronation when the time is due. You will not smell that room. Why? Because the law of the land forbids a cursed man to sit on the throne. I thought that curse was broken. Yes. The curse was broken for having any negative effect on you both. But it cannot be broken for any of you sitting on the throne. That is the reality of what I did for you both. It's not a bad thing. At least we have something to hold on to. Maybe we were not destined to become the next kings of our kingdom. Just maybe. What matters the most right now is that you are free from the evil effect of the curse. Whatever you lay your hands from the day your father revokes his words, shall prosper. But as for the tool, you will not assess the tool. Someone who is cursed Nothing seems to be working Oi, every day the same story No happiness at all Oi, but I am sorry Sorry for my sins I'm big up my eyes I'm I say I am sorry. Forgive me all my sins. I'm big up my eyes. Give me all 
Nampi kebaya 